Hi guys, this is Chantel and today I'm going to be planting this lilac. This lilac came as a bare root lilac. I got two of them and this is a double bloom lilac with white blooms on the outside and pink on the inside. It is really beautiful. I wish I still have the tag. I would have shown you, but I don't. And we are in Zone 5, New Hampshire. Today is October 8th. And you can see behind me this new flower bed that we planted this year. And now I'm going to start working on the areas around it slowly. I have been working on the area facing this flower bed over here for a few years now. And uh, before last year, I was just coming here and just kind of cutting up what I can cut up and pulling up what I can. But last year I just gave up and I sprayed everything and I'm pretty happy with the results but I right now I need to start planting things and pulling up the things that were there that are now dead and reapplying some um, herbicide again to kill the plants that I don't want here. We have poison ivy, we have bittersweet vine, we have barberries everywhere and barberries are in our area. I think are invasive. I don't know if that's what the state deems them at, but from what I see is that they are invasive because they seed themselves everywhere. And uh, there are also just random uh, crab apple trees that grow <laughs> everywhere and all sorts of things. Facing me on the opposite side is an area where I think would be a great place to plant the lilac. So let me show you uh, so that you guys can kind of get the picture. So this I think was a um, some sort of an invasive honeysuckle species. Um, it was like I think a Japanese honeysuckle, these wild honeysuckle that grow on their own. So this is what was here and I sprayed it because these also spread everywhere in here. Um, that tree that was behind it, I think that was a sumac, it was already dead and just some stuff over here that need to be cleaned up. So there are a lot of um, there are a lot of like mini tree stumps and uh, this over here so I will see what I can do with them because this is the location where I want to plant it and I want to make sure that it is on our property line because our property line is kind of runs diagonal so it narrows on that end where these trees are um, and then it widens on this end over here and I think I would uh, right there. In here so if we walk over here maybe I can show you not getting stuck. This area was full of poison ivy too. Let's see. Is, well, it used to be orange. Now I don't know where it's co what color is. Where's the line? Oh, I see it. So it's right there where my finger is at. Right there. And then we keep going straight that way. And then boom, boom. There is the line. Here. Oh, I see it. Okay. And there is one right here. So that's the grass. That's it. And the other one goes kind of wide that way. So I think I'll be safe <laughs> planting it in there uh, and it will still be on our side. Where I will be planting it over here is going to be facing this area right here. And you can see there's the magnolia tree right there. And that magnolia tree is going to grow pretty big, maybe about 20 feet tall and wide or maybe even more. It depends how well it likes this location and or maybe 15 feet tall and wide. I don't know. I actually forgot how wide it grows. And then if I walk a little bit back, so 
So if you were, where is it? So that's the magnolia tree. I know it's hard to see because of the sun, but if you're standing here, you could see the magnolia tree, imagine it in bloom in the spring, and then you would see the lilac in that corner also in bloom in early spring. Um, so I think this one blooms a little bit later and the lilac would bloom earlier in the spring. And I noticed that that area also gets a lot more sun than where I was thinking of planting it before. I was thinking of planting it where the trailer was in the back, but I think that spot would look nicer because of how it would play with this magnolia over here. And I think it's going to like it better and it's going to grow well because of the sun that it would receive over there. So I got myself some glasses, a lopper, I also have a shovel with me, and a garden fork in case if I need them, if I need to dig up something out of there. Let's start. off because it's poking my head. I think it's too low. I'm gonna cut that branch off too. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right there. I wore my hat. I think taking these out also is going to help actually because in the summer this apple tree is going to have a lot of leaves on it so it might shade the lilac a little bit so maybe also thinning the uh, unnecessary growth around it would be a good idea since I want to do it anyways. Virginia creeper everywhere. I thought I sprayed it, but apparently it came back. I just saw our property line hidden behind uh, <laughs> behind this uh, what's it called behind the golden rocket golden whatever it's called I forgot its name <sighs> I don't know is it ragweed I think that's ragweed behind the ragweed let me go clean it up.
you see it right there that orange post that's the property line so I'm pretty well within our property line That was a lot easier than I expected. <laughs> Okay guys, so this whole time I thought I was filming, apparently not. Got the lilac here and let me show you what I've done. I've talked so much, I'm trying to explain to you what happened here and uh, it was all not recorded. Oops. So I actually went inside, had lunch and I came back but before I went and uh, made lunch and got lunch and all that. I did most of this over here and then I came back and I cut down about three or four more trees. Two of them were on the bigger side, not big, you know, like uh, maybe like two, three inch, two inch diameter and the other ones were super skinny, like less than an inch diameter. Um, and uh, I cleaned up all this area so let me show you what we have right now so you can see that all this is now clean and we can see very well in here there were several um, sumac trees that were rotting so I cut those down I actually pulled them by hand because it was super easy to pull them and some of them had thick um, trunks and it was super easy to pull them down because as you can see they're just totally rotted and then I put down the shrub killer as soon as I pulled the trees up I put down the shrub killer on them and when I made a fresh cut I would put the shrub killer on it and I also was able I was actually able to pull one of the sumac trees by the root and that was super easy because it was to totally rotted and you can see, let me show you from the other side how it looks like right now. So from standing here, you can see all the way there and it looks pretty good. I think I might pull a couple uh, thorn bushes that are growing in this area and over here I see one right here next to me. So I'll be pulling these up today after we plant the lilac and then I'm going to be moving these and I did go ahead and get myself a new tool that is actually going to help me with the garden work outside and uh, I will show you that tool in a separate video because I'm going to be using it in that video right now let's go ahead and get this lilac planted and move on with the rest one more thing 
I do want to cut this tree down also. You see there's this crab apple tree that I was cutting the branches off of it. I do want to cut this tree down as well, not today, uh, on a separate day and that is because I want this apple tree to be able to branch out and uh, not be uh, cumbered by another tree that was right next to it and uh, this way we can also plant things under it over here and um, have a beautiful garden in this area. I also want to limb up the canopy of the apple tree, crab up, of the crab apple tree up a little bit so that uh, this area would get a little more sunlight and uh, also so that it doesn't keep smacking us in the head uh, whenever we are working in here or mowing the lawn. Job, by the way. There were a lot of tree roots in here. I cut the small ones, but there's a really big one. So I'm just gonna plant right in here. It doesn't matter because I think some of the trees are dead also and their roots are still in the ground. It's not just the trees that are growing around here. Okay, let's stand. Let's stand back a little over here. So you can see it right there in front of the post. Hopefully, hopefully it will get enough sunlight. Uh, this is now late afternoon, so it does get morning sun in here, and we'll see. Maybe things will change in the future, but I'm hoping that it will survive it probably won't grow to the fullest size that it can it'll probably be more on the smaller side but that's okay with me as long as it would bloom and look good if it doesn't then i'll change it and plant something else that can grow in a shady location so right now i'm going to pull one two three more thorn bushes and then we're going to 
get the stuff in the trailer tossed into the compost pile. So I moved the lawn in this area down here and along with the trailer so I wasn't able to get close to uh, the edges and stuff like that uh, but uh, what I have been doing because I'm having it I'm finding it difficult to find the time to mow, mow the lawn so whenever I'm on the lawn mower doing chars in the yard I uh, every time I ride the, the mower I turn on the blades so that it would cut something and uh, on the way back I turn them on again so if I'm out here every day eventually the lawn would get <laughs> would get mowed uh, that's the plan and it has been working so now I mowed this area so that I can move all of these trees and branches over to the other side so that uh, not tomorrow, but probably Monday I'll be able to tackle them because I think right now I probably don't have any more time left. Let's see, can I do more? It's 4.39. Can I start filming another video? I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I'm, I'm kind of tired. Well, I'm kind of done for the day. That's how I feel, but... Uh, I also want to do some other chores around here, like I have dirt that I need to move, lawn that needs to be mowed, so I'll try to film that video on Monday if I can, or maybe another day. We'll see, we'll see when that happens. Also I have tomatoes that I need to wash and freeze, and yeah, that will have to, that video will have to be done on a different day. All right. The decision has been made. So let's go ahead and move these branches over there to the other side. This is how the area looks over here right now. 
I think it is pretty good. I have done a lot <laughs> since this morning. And the lilac, lilac is right there. Oh, baby, careful, there's poison ivy there. And there is poison ivy around it. But I did pour some of that shrub killer on them. It is going dormant right now, so I'm not sure that it would do anything. If it doesn't, uh, next spring I'll just come back and spray them. And they're just everywhere over here. And all the trees are gone from here. And now they're over there. You can see them. And on Monday I'll be working on them. Dada, where are you? Dada. If you guys are interested in these kinds of videos, Dada. please don't forget to hit that subscribe what button and the bell to receive notifications of whenever I upload new videos. Dada. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And I want to thank you so much for watching. I'll be leaving a few videos for you here to watch. If you want to see how I transformed the entrance to our driveway, uh, I'll leave a video of it right here. You can click on that and watch it. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye.